The CDC is sounding an alarm, warning that a quarter of a million kindergartners in the U.S. are at risk of getting measles as vaccination rates in this age group dropped for a second straight year. And the government says during the last school year, 93 percent of kindergartners were up to date with their required vaccines, leaving the rest unprotected. And at your side, Stephanie Hudson found immunization numbers in Virginia may even be lower, Stephanie. Right, so in one report from the CDC, about 94% of Virginia kindergartners were up to date on their vaccines last school year. In another report, the Virginia Department of Health Immunization Survey shows now 89% of public school kindergartners were up to date with all required vaccines in the fall of this school year. Dr. Douglas Mitchell with Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters says no matter which numbers you look at, it is clear rates are down and kids are at risk. Uh, my biggest fear is the unimmunized child that can have a bad outcome. Dr. Douglas Mitchell has seen what the measles and other vaccine preventable diseases can do to a child. With, with any of these, you're talking about a child potentially being in the hospital or being in the ICU, being on a ventilator, um, dying from, from some of these diseases that are clearly vaccine preventable. Vaccination coverage of childhood diseases is now the lowest it's been in more than a decade. It is significant if you've got the potential for outbreaks. And that's exactly what's happening in central Ohio, where 85 measles cases have been reported, mostly among unvaccinated children. 34 of them were hospitalized. So what's the risk in Hampton Roads? I did a deeper dive into the state health report and found Portsmouth's vaccination rate among public school kindergartners is just 69%. Norfolk is at 85 percent, followed by Newport News at 88 and Virginia Beach at 89. Hampton, Suffolk and Chesapeake are all above 90 percent. Overall immunization rates in children have decreased since the beginning of the COVID pandemic. The CDC blames disruptions to schools and health care systems for the decline. Dr. Mitchell adds that vaccine hesitancy has increased in some cases. It's something he says doctors must approach without judgment when addressing parents. Fevers and vaccines are temporary. Uh, the bad outcomes or the complications from the actual diseases, they're permanent. Dr. Mitchell's hopeful that immunization rates will increase as kids get back on a regular well-visit schedule. Meantime, in a separate report, the CDC said vaccine coverage for children born in 2018 and 2019 increased slightly by the time they turned two years old compared with kids born in that previous year. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.